Hello students, uh, now we're gonna talk about another machine learning based strategy, which is golden cross trading strategy using uh, machine learning. What is that uh, golden cross? It's the it's a golden cross is the bullish technical analysis pattern indicating a potential upward uh, market trend. A component, we have a short term moving average 50 days, long term moving average at 200 days. So how it works, simple. If the 50 days uh, pass the 200, then we have a bullish signal. Of course, when the short term uh, moving average pass the long term. Otherwise, it's a uh, bearish. How are we gonna do the golden uh, cross? Uh, well, I'm gonna explain the strategy here, but I'm gonna show you in Excel. So no worries if you uh, didn't get it in the first time. So basically you have to calculate the moving average and then uh, identify the cross crossover points and then decide whether to buy or sell. Uh, the advantage is simplicity. The problem is not very accurate like any other models. And here are the consideration, lagging indicator and, uh, and the false signals, possible and volatile sideways market. Uh, these are the key problems uh, with this. So first we're gonna go to Yahoo Finance. Uh, here is Yahoo Finance. Uh, we need to pick an index or a, a company. Let's use um, uh, a company like maybe Amazon. Uh, let's use Amazon. AMZN is a ticker. You go to Amazon and you go to historical data. And we're gonna use weekly again for trading strategy. Uh, we're gonna go to max. Download. And here we go, we have Amazon. Uh, I'm interested only in, uh, in the close, adjust the close. So I'm gonna close all of these. I don't need them. I'm gonna go here. And then we're gonna do moving average, moving average 50, uh, moving average, 200. Now in the slides, uh, I mentioned the short term, 50, the long term, uh, 200. Some people use 250 also long term, but 50 is and 200 is the key uh, in this case. So move an average for 50. So we are number two here, probably 52. We have to go here. Here is 52. That will uh, maybe 51, 50, 51, I guess. So here we take the average of uh, of the price for Amazon. Okay, and then is if I go uh, view, I freeze the first row so we can see what we're doing. 250, we're gonna go 251, 251. Here is 251, so we can calculate, sorry, 201. 201, so we can calculate the um, 
uh, the moving average for 200 days. And that would be the moving average for 200 days. Okay. And then double click. Double click. Now we have the weekly 200, the current price, the 50 days moving average, the 200 move, uh, days moving average, and I can make it here to look uh, with red so you can see those, and I can make this first one bigger, and I can also make it censure. All right, so that's what we have here. So for any given a price here, any given time, sorry, at any given time, we have the price of Amazon in March 12th, price of Amazon, 50 days moving average, 200 days moving average. Now by strategy, by if the MA50 greater than the MA, 200. If the short term uh, bigger than the um, uh, the 200, then buy. Move an average for two, 200 days. Then buy. Sell would be opposite. If the M200 days is greater than MA, move an average for uh, 50 days. So I'm going to do buy here. I'm going to focus on buy. I have the 200, the 50 here, 200 is not available. So I'm going to go here. And from here, I can see the back testing for my strategy. Buy if the 50 greater than this. So suppose we have $1,000, we're going to invest in Amazon. Let's put a thousand here, initial investment. So you see it equal if if the fifty greater than the two hundred comma then my thousand dollar will be invested and the return will be here divided by this comma if not just don't invest and get out from the market. In this case, the 200 is greater than the 50. Double click. And if you put the $1,000, you will get, at the end of the day, you will get uh, 140, 14,545. Okay. Now the alternative is buy and hold. That's the alternative. Which is buy and hold alternative strategy. The alternative could be EMA, which is I show that in other other videos, or buy and hold. Buy and hold. Let's and buy and hold is the benchmark usually. So let's see if I just do the buy and hold, what is going to be my situation? So I have a thousand dollars here, and next period will be whatever I have here, multiplied by the closing price of Amazon end of the day divided by. The opening price enter. So that will be the buy and hold strategy. And if you do buy and hold, you will have amazing results. You will have 321, 14,554. Now, so you can see here the moving across in the cross 
golden cross is not a good strategy in this case, but we can modify them. So we can modify that for Amazon did not work this strategy, but we can modify that. And that's a trick I want to teach you, not only to rely on golden cross the way we teach it in a textbook, but also to show that if C, if the 50 greater than 200, or you can say if the 50 minus the 200, for example, greater than 0.1, still buy. Negative, negative 0.1, still buy. So now you can see different results. So now you can see here, 24,000 still, what we can do, we can do more. We can do more. We can improve. So let's put here the final prices here. This is equal. this now I'm going to change this strategy I put negative two here negative points like 10 cents how about 20 cents see we're getting different now how about we put Half a dollar. So you see here, start doing better here. What about a dollar? You just put a dollar and a half maybe. Like even if the moving average 50 is less than the 200 by a hundred dollars, still make, make a buy. So you see here is different. So you continue playing with, with this to see Maybe you can do two dollars and a half, for example. It's still getting better, maybe not better. So what's your homework? Your homework is simple. You go to um, uh, go to uh, Yahoo Finance. I select Amazon. Use anything. If you want to do Nasdaq, it's a QQQ. If you want to buy the Nasdaq, and do the analysis for the Nasdaq. If you want Apple AAPL, you can do this analysis in Apple. If you want NVIDIA, NVDA, you just click NVIDIA and then uh, do that. Uh, here's Microsoft, for example. If you want to do Microsoft, enter. And then you go historical data. And then you do weekly, maximum. Download. So what you can do here, notice in this exercise, I start from October, sorry. We start from uh, May 12th. So I can go Microsoft, May 12th, May 12th, 97. I can go to Microsoft, May 12th, 97. Here we go. And then take the adjusted close. Right click values. And then I can have the same strategy for a different company. In this case, Microsoft. So this is your homework to do for today is is just to go and do the golden cross. And here are the slides for the golden cross. Golden cross using machine learning. So the machine learning I can do for you are the back testing and choose a different company. So what we've done here, machine learning does the back testing 
for your golden cross strategy, trading strategy. So the machine in every week, in this case, the machine every week, they look and they decide whether to buy or just sustain it or, or just be out of the market. Um, if, and this uh, buy and hold is as a benchmark. So yeah, just cho choose a different company and see how the machine learning working every week for making for you strategy, trading strategy, and show me the results. Maybe in your uh, different stock, we have a different results. Thank you so much. And I hope you enjoy the video.